All right, gun climber here. Uh, it's winter time, haven't been doing much climbing, but uh, I'm trying to experiment with some devices. Today I got the uh, Camp Goblin. I'm gonna try to do some uh, leap rope soloing with it, lead rope soloing. Um, yeah, just thanks everyone for uh, checking out my channel and subscribing. I got over 500 climbing videos to check out, so um, yeah, feel free. Um, let me try setting this up. Um, I don't have the right device for it, but uh, I'm going to use it anyway. I'm only three feet, a couple feet off the ground, so shouldn't get hurt. All right, you should have the locker with the little swinging clip right here. Kind of keeps the device in position, but uh, I don't have it with me right now, so I'm not worried about it. So I'm kind of digging this device. Uh, it seems to slide very well. So let's see how it holds up uh, against uh, falls. Now, um, you know with the Grigri, it's really hard to feed. This isn't too bad to feed. You kind of just pinch the device and you can slide rope in and out pretty easily. And uh, it seems to catch pretty quickly. So let me get it tight so I can see how it feeds all right so I'll get this quick feed on a little rope go up get the next clip feed out again All right, here we go. I'm gonna fall. <laughs> wow, that catches fast. I feel like that was even faster than the Grigri. Whew. Um, so the reason why I kind of like this device is that with the Revo, when it catches, which would be way down there close to the ground, the rope usually jams up in the device and that usually means you can't get it out very easily. You can't go up or down. The nice thing about this is uh, I can just start climbing again. All I got to do is go up, pinch it, and I can feed rope out again. So it goes up and down, no problem. Go back where I was, take another fall, catches right away. That is pretty nice. I must feel like I prefer this device over the Revo now. Um, there's not too much that could break on this. I do feel like it should have the clip here. The nice thing is you can kind of, it's got this little loop here that you could attach to like a chest harness. Um, I know a lot of people have been attaching it to a chest harness so it doesn't move around so much. It's great for top rope soloing, but I don't top rope solo, I only lead rope solo, so. I feel this is a good device for that. Um, yeah, I would say a silent partner is still better, but good luck getting one of those nowadays. I'm kind of digging this. Let me try again. It's easy to pull out slack. Let me loosen it. Oh, by the way, I have, there's two settings on this. There's a top setting and the bottom. The top, the one that I have it in now, puts more pressure on it to catch. The other one, you might might be able to easier be easier to feed, but I don't know. This one feeds fine in the top top position. So, yep. <laughs> wow, it catches fast. There's no give in that. All right, I like it. Should have tested this a while ago. The nice thing is you can just rest wherever you want to if you're climbing. I feel like this would be a good device to aid climb with too. 
if anybody has any good setups for this goblin for lead rope soloing and they want to leave some pictures in the comments that'd be great i'd love to check them out yeah definitely dig this device all right all right see you guys out there